Remember, your most favorite airline, Emirates, just posted a brand new product announcement right here. Let's check it out real quick. Still craving that unforgettable meal you had on holiday? Introducing Emirates. You could enjoy authentic cuisine from anywhere in the world without stepping foot on a plane. Oh, mamma mia! Che ordine è arrivato! La pizza è pronta. Buon appetito! Authentic global cuisine brought straight to your door by Emirates. Emirates. Deliver. You know, why does this sound like an actual good idea. Yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, the Sources Are One video. Now, of course, this product announcement was an April Fool's joke. Yes, we recently celebrated the 1st of April. I don't know who um, celebrates that. Anyway, you know, honestly, the 1st of April was more of a thing of, you know, waking up and looking at my phone and being shocked that it's already April, right? But anyway, yesterday was, of course, time for some companies to post some very cheeky jokes indeed. That was actually quite interesting. I mean, this actually sounds like it could work. I mean, if I'm being honest. So yeah, I think Emirates actually put a very cheeky joke here indeed. Even though this whole Emirates April Fool's joke idea was a little bit inspired, I think, by Virgin Australia's 2019 April Fool's joke. This one right here. Australia the Fly Virgin Foods. The Virgin Australia Fly Foods app has just landed. And okay. Australia's best restaurants are now open to everyone, everywhere. With a simple tap, get Brisbane's tastiest ginger prawn dumplings direct to Hobart. This is literally the, whole, the same thing, but with a more annoying voice. <laughs> it's the same joke! No! Very original! Thank you, Emirates! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't notice that before! Wow, alright, great! Yeah, you know, especially since COVID-19, of course, the whole food delivering industry has become so big. But this is quite good anyway. I mean, honestly, Emirates are quite renowned for making good April Fool's jokes, right? You know, I think they almost come close to WestJet, who's literally the elite right here. When it comes to innovation, What's this right we here? often think about what could be added. My name's right. JP and I'm a cabin manager. All right, the well, what's gonna be the new product? Show it to us. One of the most frustrating challenges is moving the food and beverage cart up the aisle and trying to maneuver it as to not hit our guests. <laughs> well, we're bringing something really innovative to market. By removing the carts, oh. it allows oh. us to move about the cabin oh. more freely and focus on the safety. All right, we've got a life. robotic automatic light food handler. Ralph lets you Honestly, place <laughs> I like that idea as well. Jesus Christ. That's genuinely quite genius, right? And I honestly, I like this. I want to let's just introduce us child-free cabins. All right, they have, that was a little bit very extreme right here. Today, we're introducing child-free cabins on board select flights. <laughs> what? On the travel what are they doing here? Are they, are they checking their kids as baggage? Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. You know what? I think you can pull, you know, jokes like this here anymore these days, but it is great. Hi, I'm Richard WestJet West Helium. Communication team. Effective today on all our aircrafts, we'll be introducing helium to the air mix to make those planes lighter. So come on along with me and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Yeah, flight's about to get very funny, isn't it? What the hell? Anyways, maybe check out WestJet's new thing this year, April 1st, 2022, introducing affordable space flight. Yeah! Since 1996, we've been on a quest to make air travel more oh, yeah. affordable. What a great today, clip right here. Our goal remains the same. You know what? Are they mocking United Airlines? I think they are. Yes. Introducing WestJet X. Oh, the X damn. Means space. The X means space. Damn. That's very good. And there's also a very powerful 787 being able to operate without any air. Good. That's exactly how this works. Just be for astronauts and billionaires. <laughs> that's why our flights start at just $500. Thousand dollars, one way. <laughs> Our state of the art. Oh, that was that was a very good delivery, by the way. You know, and actually, though, five hundred thousand dollars for a space flight. That's actually not all that bad. Even though I think that Virgin Galactic thing would be cheaper at around two hundred thousand dollars per flight. Our state so of the one. art spacecraft is designed for your comfort and safety. It actually looks kind of good now. Not to look like a. What? WestJet's new service, oh, Furry is... Family, now allows for any type of animal that fits safely on board. <laughs> you know what I think WestJet actually, they, they, they are actually the kings of the April Fools. This is actually really good. What's more? I like this one very much. But you know what? The April 1st of this year was rather quiet. There weren't any new announcements. I mean, what do we got right here? Virgin Atlantic introducing booth experiences. All right, that's chocolate and cheese tasting. Like an April Fool, what is this? What else have we got here? There's two things I've wanted to do all my life. Uh, one was be me, and one was be a pilot. Um, 
Another probably non, probably non Native Pro Rules joke, I guess. I mean, come on, Virgin, you've done better before. This was from 2018, to right Australia's here. Spin Class, the world's first in flight cycling studio. We've partnered with our friends at Virgin Active to get your heart racing above the clouds and work up a sweat on longer flights in our... All right, a gym and a plane. Actually, that sounds quite sick, right? Of a concept. That's great. Yeah, check this out. You will find a safety out. instruction card located... Yeah. Come on, I missed your jokes, Virgin Australia. Why nothing this year, though? Come on. All right, let's maybe forge a little bit through Twitter right here. Ever been stuck in the aisle during mule service? All right, that's something that, you know, WestJet tried to fix as well. Introducing the Etihad Air Cards. Okay, let's check this out. Wow! All right, that actually looks like a good idea. A little bit impossible. But you know what was kind of creepy is the walking animation of that guy. But look at that. That actually sounds like a good idea indeed. I mean, at least they're aware of their problems. <laughs> good. Hong Kong Airlines delivering more with roasted duck and barbecue pork to satisfy your cravings for Hong Kong food. Yes! No, why, why, why does this sound like a good idea as well? We, you know we want proper food on airlines, don't we? Good one. Hmm. Hong Kong Airlines also has been quiet this year, isn't it? March 4th. Nothing here. So you know what? We might just have to go a little bit outside of our small aviation world with Audi Stores UK. Now, why am I mentioning them in this video? It's a, it's a because they announced Audi Air. They have, they have made an airline, everybody. Yes, we're pretty fly, Audi Air. Special fly since... What is that of a word? Good one! You know what? I think, I think this actually could work as well. I mean, don't we all just trust Audi? I mean, honestly. I mean, Audi on Twitter has been pretty cheeky, you know, on April Fool this year indeed. I mean, hey, Reiner, we're, we're coming for you. We coming for you, keeping grammar good. That's an airline we would trust. Check out staff at airport security confirmed. What does that even mean? Been getting loads of flight sim on Xbox, so I think we got this. All right, I mean, that kind of defines my life. It actually went a little bit crazy here. We promise not to charge you for breathing. Come on, what, who is th in the control here? First airline with no restrictions on excess baggage. All right, that's a long cart. Window seat, we prefer middle aisle chair. This is too much. Us waiting for the inevitable Tesco air. This is too much! Air traffic controllers on strike again. Didn't think we'd launch an airline on April 1st, did you? Isle of Audi. All right, they're canceled. You know what? I don't like him that much anymore. This is this is too overplayed. And most some other airlines didn't like this concept either. For example, EasyJet. You're joking, not another one. Yes. You know, just like the thing, every random company became an airline this year. For example, yesterday we were introduced to Duolingo Air. You know, this livery is kind of inspired by S7. You asked we deliver it introducing Duolingo Air. <laughs> Good. You know what? But would we trust Duolingo Air though? What if, what happens if you don't fly that airline, honestly? Go on. By, by the way, what did EasyJet post this year? Oh, hmm, not really, huh? Come on, EasyJet! And you know what, staying on the topic of some low-cost airlines, let's maybe check out some Ryanair. No, they've been quite cheeky here. <laughs> what, did they comment on the Duolingo thing? Good, let's check this out. When admin checking what day it is. It's April Fool's Day. What the? I'm sorry for my language, what the F is this? <laughs> Alright, they're making fun of the airlines, making fun of Ryanair. What has, what has capitalism arrived to? I mean, Jesus Christ, what, what are we looking at? Ryanair, Look who at is he? Look this distinguished means? gentleman. Look at the way he is sitting, yes, very distinguished. You know mm-hmm, I see, I Ryanair. see. Look at this distinguished gentleman. No. no, this isn't it. This is not it. Honestly, Reiner, you've disappointed us all. Someone sent this to me right here. How do you respond when your elder cousin asks, how do you stay so slim and beautiful? Oh, you know what? That's such a relatable situation. Happens to me all the time, but, but this is not <laughs> even a, <laughs> related to our Fools. <laughs> What if I just watch? What, what does this have to do with a Malaysia airline? I don't know. So yeah, guys, this has been April Fools with Swiss or one. This has not been all that bad this year. There were years that were a little bit quieter. Of course, right now, we're in a little bit of a tough situation, right? So I can understand that some airlines might just not be very cheeky at the moment. But, uh, you know, West had actually just completely won this over. Good one.
So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next year. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man the Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider. 